But as soon as, as soon as I start, look, there's a lorry coming now. Lorry's coming now. Let's see if he can. See if I'm in his way here. How's it going everyone? Welcome back. As you can see we're back out in the van. I know we're meant to be in the elements this week but I've been away with my family all week and we have, were away actually caravanning and I haven't had a, ch I haven't had a chance to make a, a video so these ones are handier, they're quicker to do, they're easier to edit so I'm just out in the van and we're just heading somewhere really simple. We're just heading over to an industrial estate to um, cook some food, find a nice spot to camp and just chill out for the night. So um, come along if you want and we'll, uh, I'll see you whenever we get closer to the spot. Okay, so we have found a spot in this industrial estate that isn't too far from me. Now this spot here, we're just going to use this for, um, we're going to cook down here. And we're going to, after we cook, we're going to go for a bit of a wander around. But we're not going to camp at this area, we're going to camp on further down, near close to like big lorry trailers and that. Just because, just in case anybody's watching us and whatnot, because I want to go for a walk. And uh, if there's any people watching me getting out of the van, or the the van slash car, if you want to call it, just in case I may alert anybody. So we're going to eat here, adventure around here. Not going to be much to see anyway. It's an industrial estate at the end of the day, but we'll go for a walk. And uh, then we'll camp further on down the road. All right, so we're settled in. So let's see, what are we going to have for our dinner tonight? Keeping it simple, because simple is the theme for this video. We've got some eggs. Cheese. Onion. Chilies. And of course, good old avocado. So we're going to make a bit of an omelette with avocado on the side and find this little boy in the the packet Tabasco sauce came in the avocado packet so try some of that and dessert double deckers some cream soda to wash it all down tiny so let's get started We're going to cook our omelette in the Ridge Monkey. I love the Ridge Monkey, as you probably know by now. I'm always singing its praises. It's excellent for using it in the van and also when you're out roughing it in a tent or a hammock. So, um, I just sort of grabbed stuff and just called in the shop quickly and got avocados. And I usually had the video done early in the week and just edit it as I go along through the week. Get it the way I want it, but it's, it's the last minute now. It's deadline edit and be, he'll tomorrow will be sort of scurrying to get this edited, to get it up for you. Now, one thing about the Edge Monkey is, don't touch the part the candle joins to, because it's, it's made of steel. I always do that, and I always broke my fingers, because it's the same color, it's black. 
Okay. Get that heat up, that'll take a matter of seconds. And we'll try and do this without making a complete mess. We're sitting a bit of the slope, which mean, means our eggs are slipping to one side. Not to worry. Let's get some. I'll fire this in and let you see. Looks like we're going to get a lot of rain here. And if it doesn't work right, we'll just make some scramble, some cheesy scramble with onions and chilies in it. There's a lot more onions in there. We like our onions. We almost like our onions as much as we like our avocados. And that's saying something. Some cheese on top. Give you a look. Before we shut the lid down, we'll shut the lid down now and try and reduce this cooker heat as much as possible, though it isn't really, it doesn't really stay down, it goes down and goes back up again. I've told you that before in previous videos, so things tend to burn a bit. But we're not fussy here. Okay, so you just shut the lid on the Ridge Monkey and actually a little oven, which is good. And once that once that egg cooks through it, we can just flip it around. Um, the link is in the description for the Ridge Monkey, the one I've got. If you're interested, down and check it out. It'll be the best 20 odd quid you ever spend, trust me. This is the compact version, there is a bigger version. But I find this... Well, I suppose the bigger version would be better for you if you're just going to have it in the van all the time. But if you're wanting to go out and like bring it with you like I do when I'm hammock camping and tent camping, the compact suits me better. But Whatever suits you best, but go down and check it out. There's other stuff there I use too. Okay, see, just flips over. Nice and easy. No mess, no hassle. Look at that, boys and girls. Look at that so far. Look, it's been a matter of minutes. Look at that. Delicious, golden brown, succulent, ready to eat. I am using my new phone here, new S20. So that's I do all my, all my uh, recording on. I used to use GoPros and that, but now I just do it all on smartphones or smartphone. Everything will be eventually on this one. The problem with this one is my mic adapter still still hasn't arrived. This is like a USB-C to 3.5 mil jack is what I need, and it still hasn't arrived. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to strap some foam around the outside of the, like a sponge from washing a car with plastic bands outside of the mics and stop the wind getting at it. A little trick I've seen Harold Balder do. Let me know in the comments if you know who Harold Balder is. He's on, uh, he's like a travel vlogger on YouTube. Very good. I think I've said about him before as well. Okay, how are we looking? Delicious, right? Get the main green on the go. See how this one turns out. I had two in the house there, but they're all let's say they were destroyed, they were no good. Oh yeah, perfect. The main green stuff. We love it. Push that to one side. Oh yeah, and if anybody's nose the it splits in two, so you can use two pounds if you wish. Makes it easier to dish things in now. I think I had shares in these things. <laughs> I'm always advertised them. And there we go. Look at that. A nice little simple but effective meal. Where's our Tabasco sauce that came? Never had Tabasco sauce with avocado before. So this will be an experience. I will just fire on the frig. Take a chance. No boy done that once, took a chance. 
Okay. A pinch of salt. Voila. How long did that take? Not very long. But, of course, we have to taste it. Can't go wrong with an omelette all the same. But just this Tabasco could be interesting. So, got avocado, got our omelette, Tabasco sauce on. Let's do a taste test. I amaze myself. I amaze myself. Such a good chef. <laughs> I'm only joking, by the way. Um, right. What have I got on the schedule today? I have <clears throat> still game again. Hot fuzz again. Is that it? Yeah, well, that's it. So, try some of my cream soda. Not bad. Yeah. Stick on some still game. Eat my food and then the rain stays off. We'll go for a better walk. I'll get the foam strapped to the side of the phone. And we'll go for a, a goose and a gander. See you in a minute. Very, very busy here today. Loads of, loads of learners and that doing their, practicing for their test. So this is like a wee lane that runs up out of the industrial estate and down there there's lots of units. And um, you know, kids play park things and all the rest of it and this seems like sort of forgotten about here as you see it's all overgrown so I was thinking of doing a cheeky, a cheeky camp up in here somewhere you can see it's obviously not used that much there's logs and all still laying on the path yeah, there's a like a building supply place there and I think that's a building supply place that side and I don't know what that is in there. Some pipes and that, something with the council or something like that in there. As you can see it's well grown over. But when you go on down in you know the only thing about it's fly central. Nothing but flies. Biting flies too. It's stung here at the minute with nettles. The usual. Okay. I don't think we'll go back that way. There's going to be a walk around so you can have a look. Somebody has been here. Somebody has thought the same thing as me. I need a little camp here. And there's CCTV right behind us there, so maybe not. Say so I was thinking about a hammock camp in here or down in here. I thought it would have been a good idea. Yeah, I'm definitely not going back that way because my leg got stung useless there. Let's go up round, we'll go up round, we'll walk round back. See, there's not much to see here in the day, it's industrial state. Let's walk round. Covered in stuff. This phone sticks out like a sore thumb because 
for one I'm holding up to my face so I can show you that so you can hear me two there's about four to five inches of orange foam strapped to each side of it so let's see how good the, the super steady mode works here on this camera I'm just sort of walking normally holding it as I normally would see if it's a much of an improvement in the last foam or if I've been conned yeah please as you can see everybody's looking I think it's great okay so I went for a bit of a walk there just to just to burn off some calories waste a bit of time you're probably not I'll probably not show much of it in the video because it's nothing really interesting and plus there's, there's, there's lots of people about lots of people learning to drive and all and driving instructors and stopping to the road and people standing watching so it wasn't really ideal for vlogging especially still still vlogging um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to relax here, stick on the tablet. I'm going to chill here for another while, and then later on tonight we're going to go. I'm going to pull up to just not far, just up a wee bit, just on in the industrial estate, just up around the corner a bit where nobody has seen me. Because the people from these places here, these people going out here, down here, this there's a gate down there. And they're getting nice steady, and they're looking up this way. Because I'm out taking thumbnails and all as well, like, so can't blame them. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to move up around the corner later on. And that's where I'm going to sleep. So I'll see you later on when I'm up, in the, up at the next spot. And, um, yeah, we'll take it from there. Who's ever done chocolate crisp combo? Ever tried it? Living the dream. Treats. Movies. Peace. If you're watching this and you haven't already got yourself a camper van, a van, a state car, people car, whatever, get one. Get out. Do this. Don't even bother putting the belt in, just get a mattress into it. Some sort of little table. Off you go. Tell me. And then comment below or message me and tell me what you think. So we moved on a little bit. From what we cooked earlier on. We're not far, we're like just up the road a wee tiny bit. I'm sure in between two big, sorry, three trailers. There's like two trailers behind me, and there's one up the front of me. A series in the morning. You'll see better in the morning. The light's better. But um, I thought it was a better spot. A load of trailers. Yes, the will. I, I would say the lorries will come from in the morning. But I sort of left myself in a position where I don't think I'll be in their way. But we'll see in the morning. Morning. Don't know if you can hear that, but the rain's beating away on top of the roof there. So therapeutic. It makes you not want to get out of bed. What time is it? Um, Five thirty-four. It's a busy enough little spot this because you can hear all sorts of vehicles, lorries, forklifts. That's to be expected considering we're parked. But hear that now? That has got to be one of the one of the best sounds in the world.
All right, folks. <clears throat> so coffee's made, breakfast is served. I'm going to get out of here before somebody comes to pick up this boy and wants me out of the road anyway. We're well steamed up in here now because the minute you put the kettle on, everything steams. I've cleared these back ones, but the front one's really bad. And so people will know I'm here now with the, the kettle going. The wind deflectors keep the windows steam uh, condensation free. When it's just my body heat or my body giving off the the moisture, but as soon as, as soon as I start, look, there's a lorry coming now. Lorry's coming now. Let's see if he can. Let's see if I'm in his way here. Just five minutes. <laughs> he maybe got he maybe got out alright. If it had been five minutes quicker making that and getting out of here, I would have given him more room, but he should be alright. Let's see. Let's see if he can get out okay. Must be connecting up his trailer lights and stuff there now. Uh, I'm just hold fire now. There's no point in me jumping in here and bouncing away now because you don't want to bring any more attention to us here than, than we already have. Because you may just think somebody's just parked up. Obviously, well, just think somebody's just parked, left the car there, and went to work. There's a factory or thing beside me there. Yeah, while he's doing his checks and connecting up, I'll um, say goodbye. I will um, do my outro, so to speak. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As I said, it wasn't a real exciting video because it was a last-minute thing. And I just thought I'd make some sort of video for you. So, industrial estate park up it was. And um, if you've watched this far, you may as well subscribe if you haven't already. And also share the video on social media. Like the video. Tell your friends. Post the video. Help get this channel growing for me. And that being said, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching and keep her stealth. And he's out of here.